Are you a photographer who uses photo mechanic? Do you want to save some time? Stick around and watch this. So Photo Mechanic has functionality within it called code replacements. What this allows you to do is put in a short code and it replaces it with a long string of text. Really useful for when we're captioning images. What I'm going to show you now is a really quick and easy way of generating those files for your code replacements. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Teams page on the Football Squad's website. Select the current season, select the correct league, in this instance I'm going to do the championship, and then select the team. So in this case I'm going to select Sunderland. So then once you've got the squad list up on the screen, copy the web address from the address bar and create a new tab and open up chat. GPT. Now we, before we do anything here, I'm going to go to my prompt template that I've got saved in Notepad. Then I'm going to paste the web address that I copied from the squad page into where it says enter URL. Then copy the whole text and paste this into the chat GPT prompt window. And hit the submit button. Okay. Then you can see chat GPT goes and works its magic. You'll see it creating the file. And once done, we need to tell it to download file. By simply typing in download file and it creates a link. It takes a few seconds but when it's finished it gives you a download link for the file. Click on it and then it opens up. Right I normally then scan through the file replace any non-standard characters in names just to avoid any issues later. Then I save the file in a location you can remember, as you'll need to find this in Photo Mechanic. Right. Now that's done, open up Photo Mechanic and load in your code replacement file. Click Add, then navigate to where you save the file. click OK and you're done. That's it. So let's check that it's all working. I'll type in my code replacement character which is a backslash followed by S and the player's number. There you go. And you can see it replaced it with the text in our code replacement file. I'll try it one more time and once more. And that's it. If you think that's going to save you time, please leave a like and a comment below. And if you've got any other time-saving tips using AI for photographers, also drop a comment below. If you'd like to see more tips, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. 